Welcome to this tutorial on customer intent classification. So what is customer intent classification? I'm going to explain this and then we're going to build a customer intent classification application with the Mantium AI platform. So let's get to it. So imagine you have our customer queries. For instance, uh, when someone makes an inquiry to some form of customer service, it could be in a bank uh, for a product, they are always driven by a purpose or intention. So to make uh, that easy for the customer service operator, uh, you can use a customer intent classification, which simply classifies the intent and then you can integrate with other applications. So the way we have these queries coming from the customer, it could be a question, then you use AI classifier to classify that and use that to determine the intent, which you can use that to generate the label. So an example would be when someone send a request to the customer service in the bank, for example, I cannot use my card to make payment. The AI classifier would classify that as a payment issue. And then the customer service can easily take that up uh, because they'll be working with the label which says payment issue or card issue. And they can also integrate this to other applications. It could be a Zendesk application. It could be any other applications you can integrate it with. So in this tutorial, we're going to build that using uh, the Mantium no-code platform. We're going to be working with the large language model to basically determine the intent of customer queries. And we're going to be working with a bank data set, meaning we're going to determine the intent of uh, customers sending queries to the bank. Let's get to it. Let's build the intent classifier with the OpenAI GPT-3 model. But before we do that, the first thing you want to do is you need to upload uh, your file your classification file and which is somewhat like the uh, training file so let's take a look at this so it's the bank 77.json file so for an intent classifier to work the model must first be provided examples of text and labels which is what we have and these examples and text uh, is from the bank 77 organ face data set which uh, is composed of 13,083 online banking customer service queries annotated with 77 corresponding intent. So here are all the customer service queries and here are the labels. So you have, I'm still waiting on my card and here is the label, which is card arrival. So we, we are going to provide the model with these examples in the format that the OpenAI requested the file to be in, which is text and card in a JSON-L format. So let's upload this file, which is the first thing we want to do before building with Mantium. So we need to upload the file. Going back to the Mantium platform, navigate to files. So this is where you need to upload your file data set. So click on add file. So you just drag from your local drive and then you upload it here or you click and upload. So I'm going to upload mine. So the file is customerqueries.json. You can add a description so that you can easily recognize that say intent uh, examples. Uh, then you select the purpose. So the purpose is classification. Because we have we do have a couple of purposes we have answers and search so but for this example we're working with classification so upload that so when you upload that to the mantium uh platform you wait a bit say one minute or five seconds i'm going to wait like uh, a few seconds for that file to get added okay it says please allow up to five minutes for the processing of your file which depends on the size of the file as well so i'm going to close this and i'll navigate back to my prompt creation interface so I have the name and description. The next thing for me to do is choose a provider. So that's OpenAI and then choose an endpoint, the classification endpoint. We have a couple of videos on the channel for other endpoints such as our completion. I recommend you watch that. So for this example is a classification endpoint because we want to take the customer queries and then want to be able to classify that to a particular label. So select the model. I'll select query model for the base model and then I'll select this model for the search model. I will leave a link in the description below where you can read more about OpenAI model and engines. So I'll select the request body. Uh, you can use a query request body where you provide the customer queries here and then you provide the label. We do have another video on the channel that uses the GPTJ model and then you provide the customer queries and its corresponding labels uh, manually. But with this OpenAI example, we are uploading the file. So we change the request body to the file. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below or above. So do watch that and learn how to build with the open source GPTJ Mantium model. 
So the request body is a file. I'll select that. And the moment you select that, you have your files here. And as you can see, you have the file details right here. And this is the time that I uploaded my file. Yes, yeah, so I'll select this file. So as you can see, this is the name of the file, customerqueries.json. All I need to do is provide my input and then test it out. So that's how easy it is to build a customer intent classification uh, application on the Mantium no-code platform. So let's provide input. Let's test something out. So we'll say um, I am unable. So let's say the customer sent this particular queries. So all you need to do is let your AI classify that so that your customer service operator can easily respond to this. And it would be great if you have like a team of customer operator for different purposes. So you can easily direct this query to the customer service in charge of this particular query label. So let's test run that and then we'll get a particular label for this. So it says card not working. So let's say you have a card not working team. The card not working team can easily take up this query and respond to that. So this is how to build a customer intent classification uh, application with the Mantium no code platform. So in this tutorial, we learned how to take the customer service queries pass that through the Mantium uh, no-code AI classifier that we built and then generate labels for that. So the good thing about this is you can easily simplify your customer service workflow by integrating this particular workflow to other applications. And yes, we want to talk about the Mantium AI Builder, so which is what we're currently working on. And then you can come to this uh, platform to sign up for a better access and the AI Builder lets you build complex applications using the workflow builder so you can integrate your customer intent classification application with other third-party applications such as zendesk shopify etc so sign up for better access i'll leave a link for this in the description below finally if you have more questions scan this barcode to join us on discord you can become a part of our community ask questions i'll be ready to help you build your ai applications easily